You have about as much charisma as my underpants. Zero. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go, round one. This is his UFC debut, so finally getting to the big show. He strung together a long winning streak on the regional circuit. A lot of people thought maybe this UFC debut would have come last year. Let bygones be bygones. Here it is. We'll see what he can do with it. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. in a great performance by this young man. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tyson Fury. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, 10 losses. 
He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Haymaker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of two wins, no losses. Standing six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? Well, he made a ton of noise by winning his UFC debut by KO. Now the challenges get tougher. We'll see what he can do with it here tonight. Obviously, he made a ton of noise in that aforementioned UFC debut. Tonight, we'll see if he can continue to make his rise as he starts to take his shots at some of the guys near the top of this division. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land some of the impacts. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedown, he was secure. Let's see what he does. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh, straight right. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, big punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far. He sets him up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot and he drives his entire body into that hook. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just gonna follow this. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, collar ties. He changes the angle. Finds the great action on the double leg. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Just over two minutes, round one. Down into his mouth. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. This is where you don't want to be, though. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here.
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making... Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And he's out. I mean, how many can he take? That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC is back from the concession stand as we get our next round underway. And you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet in that previous round. Oh, he did a great this fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his front running from low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chance. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. That's a big strike right there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, spot the flash, hands up, chin down. All right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lance switch the ball. Yet another knee landed by Tyson Fury. Man, doesn't take... Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Nicely done. I mean, how many can he take? Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, man, notice how he's walking him over to try to get a windshield choke. So he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. I need you to move. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's having his way with him here. Fury gets back up again. Nicely done. Boy, Ty Plum. 
Fury's eyebrow got opened up on that shot. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Muay Thai Plum. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Fury gets caught with that punch. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag off bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent... Oh, it looks like he's transitioning on guard. You cannot stand in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over. But stayed patient, stayed calm. So here we are as our next round gets underway. Round, guys, I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped. It was so tight. I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Oh, that's a good strike there by the gypsy. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no sodas. One and done, more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. What? Talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. No! Huge right hand! Now he's on top of him looking for a pitch. and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tyson Fury. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now. John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.
with your hands. Yeah, it's starting to fall apart. I love it. done a little bit better, but we could Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Are you ready? You ready? All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he connects there pretty well. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Get right here. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. And both guys really throwing with authority. An uppercut landed. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Powerful leg kick land. Over and over, he's landed with big body kicks. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effect. Oh! Oh! oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tyson Fury. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight, right. because there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot, yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Oh, Some people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 13 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of four wins, no losses, standing six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC nine times out of ten. The next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, nice. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us 
he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 20 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Tyson Fury. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. set up this massive, massive opportunity tonight. We'll see if he can take advantage. He's really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Nice strike. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot. He will continue to throw it. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early as we expected. Everything being thrown with flight ending intentions. He throws everything so hard. He said to us, when we talked to him earlier in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I can take it down, as long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting before. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the... Oh! Huge right hand! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, 
punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tyson Fury. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only got to call it a win. I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.